Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be fixing the instrument gauges on this uh, 03 Silver Auto. So come on inside and let's uh, get started. Alright, so uh, let me show you what the issue we're having here. So as you can see, the, the fuel gauge here is not even doing fuel gauge things. Um, so that gauge is out, and uh, that's the one that we're going to fix here. Alright, so in order to uh, fix the fuel gauge, we have to get the cluster out. And uh, to do so, this bezel here needs to get popped out. So to do that... We're just shifting this down to get that out of the way. And then just grabbing the edge here. All right, so we had to drop the column and shift down. Makes it easier. And then we're just using a seven millimeter and we're gonna take these four bolts out. Alright, so that's loose, and we're going to have to shift this back down again to get the gauge out. Alright, so this is the back side of the gauges here. Reach in here and squeeze these together, and that should just slide out. It might take some wiggling, but it'll pop. Cable's disconnected, we can pull this guy out. Put it back in the park. All right, uh, we have the gauges out. Uh, we can take this inside and uh, we'll uh, open it up on the workbench. So let's go do that. All right, to start this repair then, uh, we just need to open up this shell housing and get at the back stepper motors. So to do so, we're going to pop off this back lid. to pop off this front lid. And take your time on these back too because they're kind of delicate and they do, they're just kind of stuck in there. Alright, so we have the top part off. This is our one that's broken, uh, but we do have to pull all of them off. And uh, just being very careful not to damage more. So just kind of slightly working them up. This gauge here is the one giving us troubles. 
All right, so we have our replacement motor here. And this is just soldered in with four points, so we're going to desolder the back here and then put this one in. And All right, so to unsolder this gauge here, uh, flip it over. These four solder joints that need to be heated up. Using compressed air to remove the solder joints is not advised, but I can't find my solder removal tool, so it just has to work. Alright, so then those four solder joints are loosened up, and I can just remove it here. So these, these four solder joints are just removed and we're ready to put in the new one. So this lines up with this hole. There's only one way you can actually put these things in, so. Ready to solder up our our new ones. one is in. I did notice a bulb over here that was burned out so while we're in here I'm going to replace that as well. Alright, so to remove these bulbs, just pull up and then it loosens up on the bottom here. And bend these tabs out. Alright, so we have the old bulb out and I'm going to replace it, this burnt out bulb with this new one. So to do so, we just push the bulb in. And bend these wires down. And then we'll trim them. All right. Just using a small scissors, we were able to trim those back. And now we're ready to put this back in here. Alright, so we're ready to start reassembling. So this just will slide in.
and then to put our gauges in, we just line them up, and without being pushed in, we're just re-clocking them. Now we're ready to go put it back in the truck. All right, so installation is just the reverse. This goes in. All right, and now our gauges all work. All right, so to uh, fix these gauges, uh, it probably took about 20, 25 minutes from taking it out to putting it back in. And uh, it costs about, about $2 a gauge. Um, I'll post the link below uh, for the, the part number so you can look it up on Amazon or eBay. You know, if you like this video and found it helpful, uh, please like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.